Hey guys, uh, Wyatt RTB here, and uh, today I'm just going to quickly show you how to uh, download any custom fonts and then install them onto your PC so you can use them in any kind of uh, word processing uh, program. So, um, to get started here, you're just going to open up your browser, and um, there's, there's multiple websites you can download different fonts from, and I'm pretty sure each of them offer a different array of fonts, so you can probably just go into Google, type in font downloads, and I know it will bring up bring up a bunch of sites here that you can look through and find out which which ones offer what you're looking for. But um, the one site that we're gonna use, and then that I use for all my font downloads, is uh, defont.com. So we'll go here, and uh, you can see that we pull it up. It's got a bunch of different categories um, for you to choose from from fonts. It's got, let's see, 11,000 says fonts over here. Um, I don't know, there's probably just as many as that or more. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to download the font that I use for most of my intros or channel, the, just the Wired Eye TV channel in general. It's called Capture It. So search that, and uh, you can see over here. Uh, how how the font does it? At least I'm not sure about other websites. Is it it brings up the name of the actual text in the style of the new font that you're gonna that you're about to download. So this is what it's gonna look like. The uh, the kind of font is gonna look like when you download it and you you type it into whatever. So um if you see over there, you see what you like. Come over here. Uh, you hit download and it'll pull up the files here after it finishes downloading. It's gonna take more than 10 seconds probably at the most. So I'm going to bring this file up here. We're going to use these these two text files here. Well, we're not going to bother about the um, that other one here. So now that we have that, we're going to go back to our start menu, uh, pull up our computer, go into the C drive, and uh, at the bottom should be Windows. All right, within the Windows folder, now you're going to have to look for fonts. And uh, the way you the way you know you're going to the right folders, it should have a little A kind of peeking out of the folder like where's Walter or something I don't know so go in there and uh, then this is, this is uh, the folder that contains all of the different fonts that you have on your computer and um, so from there pull this up on the side here with Windows 7 all fancy like uh, we get our text file this it has two different text files I think for an inverted look but I'm just gonna show you how to do one so you can do it on your own but uh, you take your text file and uh, you, c you can either use the extract to or whatever but I just like drag and drop I think it's a lot easier just drag and drop in this area uh, where all the other text is you can see here mine's already installed here because this is the font I use all the time so I'm not going to bother doing it again but it it typically won't prompt you like this it'll just see this little box over here will pop up for faster than your eye can really see and it'll install real quick so um, now you should be able to find it within here already. Make sure that you have it. If it doesn't, try and drag and drop it again or use the extract as a different method. But uh, we should be able to find it here. Uh, capture it. Here it is. So you can see that you got your, your text in here now. So just to make sure that it's all working properly, we're going to go in, uh, open up a word processing program, such as Word, pretty easy one. And uh, before we type anything, we look for our font. Here, as you can see, it's recently used. Capture root. So I will type this tutorial is the best. Exclamation mark. Looks like an L right now, but we'll blow that up. Boom, and there you have it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys quick. Uh, hopefully, it helps you out, and uh, we'll see you next time.